And last week, the depth of the humanitarian emergency in Gaza exploded with the deaths of dozens of Palestinian civilians as they frantically tried to reach food supplies from aid trucks that were guarded by Israeli soldiers. People were trampled, people were run over by trucks, and they were shot. It was a horrifying scene and a direct result of the Netanyahu government's failure to put in place workable procedures for the delivery of sufficient aid to starving people. As others have said, there is no legal or security justification for restricting humanitarian aid to civilians who are caught in the middle of an armed conflict. The more desperate people become, the more chaotic and precarious the security situation, the more likely there will be other senseless tragedies just like this. Mr. President, I recently introduced a resolution along with 15 of my colleagues calling for the urgent delivery of sufficient humanitarian aid. And the Biden administration has repeatedly called for greater access for more aid trucks to Gaza, but the number getting through remains far below pre-war levels. And I am encouraged, nevertheless, that President Biden has directed the United States to begin airdropping aid in, a decision made with the understanding that while not enough by any means, it could save lives.